there's a championship match coming up, we are going to take on the winner. There is still a path to victory. We are here to erase villains and bring back heroes. You can throw anybody you want at me. I'm gonna hold on to this thing for years until finally somebody has to like forcibly retire me to be like, okay, Hector, we need other people to play. I can't stop here. You can't just get here and then stop. I gotta go for Hector. So Hector, it's you and me, man. Christian Harlow. This is the match I've wanted since I started in the Schmodin. I get texts from you all the time how much you want a title match, and it's pretty ironic that you actually have to beat me in order to get one. I've beat you twice already. I'm shocked, this and I beat you, you once. Get Dan next. For a year, I fought my ass off to get a shot at Dan, and I beat him. But I'm happy to take you and Merle on. You want to do this? That's the triple I, threat. So he's going to give me a shot at that belt at Collider Collision. We're going to make this a triple threat. I know that he has, I'll let him speak on this, but I know he's got reservations about competing in singles. Well, yeah, I don't have any reservations about playing. It's, I'm not ducking anybody. I just, right. I want to let other people get a shot at, at glory. With all the glory that Baby Carrots has, other people should get to enjoy that MSO. I might pop in here or there occasionally down the road, kind of like Eddie Murphy when he shows up at a comedy club. He's usually not there to do stand-up, but it's still cool to see a legend. I want to be a contender in this league. I want to go all the way. Ken Napsok, that ain't Mark Ellis, it's the wild man, Josh McCook is What's here. What's up, everybody? What's Glad up, to be man? here, How are you man. Doing? Good I'm to have you on the desk. Love being here. Come on. Dude, and what a match for you to be here for, because you've got a lot of experience with both of these competitors here. You've got Classy Clark Wolf, who has been an absolute superstar in this league Absolutely. in team competition and singles competition. She was the rookie of the year yep. last year, and she's going up against my partner in crime, guy who helped me start build this league, Mark Baby Carrots Ellis who has not been seen in singles competition since his loss to Dan Merle in December of last year. In the spectacular. Yeah. I mean, he put up a good fight. He ran through the ultimate Schmodown. Uh, I mean, I fought him in the Schmodown. I fought both these competitors in the Schmodown last year. Two great fights. The first time I fought Clark Wolf, she mowed me down like a lawnmower in the happening. And, uh, and, and Mark Ellis uh, always shows up. And, uh, you know, he got Junior as his last question. Right. Didn't see it coming. I thought I would put up a better fight against Mark Ellis. Uh, my second fight against Clark Wolf, li listen, they're both amazing competitors. They yeah. know their stuff. Uh, they come in here guns blazing. They are tops in this league. They are tops in this league, and that's why they're indeed fighting one another. You've got um, Clark Wolf, who is the number four ranked competitor, and Mark Ellis, who is the number five ranked competitor. So you've got the two of them right now as they are going head to head and it means a lot because it doesn't it, it, the question is where do they both go it, mark ellis if he what well, he could have some ring rust we yep. don't know he's won the ultimate showdown two years in a row yep. teams in 2015 then last year 2016 clark wolf what is she going to do next is she going to is she going to continue and go for that run again as for a singles championship is she you know, we have there's so many questions to be asked and the today. last time we saw clark wolf she was fighting her team partner mark riley for a shot at the belt Correct. and he went on to win the belt and that was a very close match I know. Clark Wolf has just been, she has been a trailblazer in this league and has done so many things. I mean, you look at like a competitor like Rachel Cushing, yep. who has just been a potential rookie there this year, has has given credit to what Clark Wolf has accomplished. Not Weirdly enough, she wrote The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> she, she, she absolutely did. But we have two competitors here that are, are legends and are already in the, uh, the schmodown. And to have them go head to head, it's going to be a lot of fun. And they said as much. Here you go. So anyway, it looked like a can of shaving cream. Turns out it was dinosaur embryos. Oh, hi, I'm Mark Ellis. Welcome to my most recent victory in the movie trivia Schmodown. 
So this is my first singles match back since I played my partner, Mark Riley, for a title shot. And uh, he won, and it was a close match. And if there's anyone I was going to lose to, I'm glad that it was him. I have children who adore me stop me daily and say, hey, Mark, aren't you worried you're going to be rusty? You haven't competed in singles in so long. Are, are you kidding? You know where I haven't been in six months? McDonald's. Did I forget how to order a quarter pounder? Hell no. And today, I'm chomping Clark Wolf on the menu. She's Hamburglar, and I'm Mayor McCheese. After Rookie of the Year last year, uh, you know, I think there was a lot of uh, expectations put on my shoulders, which is fine. I think I can I can handle it. But now playing Ellis, you know, I think, I think this will be a good competitive, hopefully close match. Uh, I think I go into the singles always hoping that, that it's going to be close, if nothing else. And and he's, uh, he's gonna be a tough one to beat. Clark Wolf has been one of the best competitors the movie trivia showdown has ever seen, and I'm honored to compete against her today. The dogs are buddies, I'm friends with her, and I'm sure we're gonna patch things up after the mulling that's about to take place today. It's not her fault, it's just that I'm baby carrots, and I don't lose these kind of things. Mark Ellis, I've known you the longest of all of the schmoes. I love you. You are an incredible competitor, and uh, you know I'll be lucky if it's a close match today. So good luck. Clark Wolf, you are an absolute legend. You're a Hall of Famer in the movie trivia schmodown. Problem is, I built the Hall of Fame. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Dig it, sucker. What's up, guys? It's Booker T, WWE Hall of Famer, six-time world champ, and we're here on the Schmodown. And this week, guys, I got two words for ya. Baby carrots. Now, can you dig that? Hey, guys, that's the Schmodown for you this week. But, hey, check out Reality of Wrestling. Every Sunday we download new episodes. Get some, won't some. And I know you can dig that, sucker. You weren't expecting a lot of smack no, talk there, obviously. Not. Clark giving a lot of credit to Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis giving a lot of credit and cracking some jokes, as we know he would. She's classy. She is classy. He is the carrot man, and we are ready to get this thing going. Let's do it. All right, so the tail of the tape. There you go. Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. If Star Wars is on there, he's going to be pretty good at that. If 80s movies or comedies are on there, look out. And obviously, cracking jokes and wearing blazing suits, similar to you. Also, he hates sleeves on his shirts. That's not very a, true. Not a big fan. There's loves cargo good. shorts, too. Does love those cargo yeah, shorts. Yeah, unfortunate. And exposed chest hair. And then we have Snakes. classy Clark Wolf. Strengths are obviously horror slash thriller. Slash blood. That's right. Uh, dramas are another one that she is really good at there, too. And just being the classiest lady in town. All strengths right All there. All class. For All class. All right. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia <laughs> Introducing first, representing Schmoes No, with a record of five wins, two defeats, he is the 2016 Ultimate Schmodown winner and the former Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Champion, the number five ranked contender, Mark Baby Karen Look at that suit. He's back. Look at that this suit. Look so, at him go. This is so new. He's like, he's like what was it? Look at him. Is that Richard Simmons doing some? Oh, no sleeves, of oh, course. No. Of course. Yeah. Mark, uh, that's my my blazer. Please get yeah, that dry I clean. Know, I, I appreciate know. that. Thanks, sir. We haven't seen Mark Ellis in singles competition for six months. You know, the last time I saw this character was on Jane Fonda's working out. He uh, <laughs> looks pretty good there. Yeah, I, 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 who knew that that turquoise blue in the, in the bright orange yeah, it went well works. together? It, it does. does work. It, it works. really does. I feel like Dan Marino 1984, Josh. Yeah, right. hey, he's from Pittsburgh. He's perfect. And his <laughs> opponent, representing oh, yeah. the Wolves of Steel, yeah! with a record of four wins, three defeats. She is the 2016 Rookie of the Year and the number four ranked contender. Classy, Clark, Wolf. Just classy. Just classy. Look at that classy. 
Mental dressed to impress. Dressed to impress. To baby carrots. She got the blood-colored heels. It's a little, it's American flag. Really is. Red, white, red, white, blue. Clark Wolf screams freedom. She really does. Yes. America. Exactly. America. Exactly. All right, so here we go. It's round number one. It works like this. The competitors will get eight questions. They're going to write their answers on the board. They will show it to the camera when it is time for them to answer worth one point apiece, 15 seconds to answer. The JTE rule, meaning you have three times during the entire match that you can ask to repeat the question. Also, remember the challenge rule. Don't forget the challenge rule. If there's something that you don't agree with or you think that there is something that the judges are missing, you can challenge. If it's overturned, then you will not lose your challenge. If it is, then you will lose the challenge. All right. And don't forget, if they get all correct, all every single question correct, they get a bonus question That is absolutely well. right. All right. And also remember this, guys, too, that I, for people who are wondering, I have no access to the documents in round number two and three. That will be all Josh Makuga. Round number one, however, I will be administering the questions to both of the competitors. All right. Here, administering, I believe it's administering. What I say? Don't worry about <laughs> it's it. It's all good. All right. <laughs> Call me JTE, and I have my own rule today, and that's try to get through this alive. <laughs> All right, here we go. Clark Wolf, are you ready? Yes, sir. Mark Ellis, are you ready? Shock full of beta carotene. What is it, a bank in here? Let's make some noise. Hey, let's get ready to schmodown. All right, round number one. Here we go in the category of action adventure. Oh, I'm not good at this. Who directed the 2014 Scarlett Johansson starring action flick Lucy? Oh, dear God. Good old Lucy. Lucy. Big, you know, I'm a big fan of Juicy Lucy's. You yeah. ever had one of those? A hamburger I famous in Minnesota. I would have rather had that than see that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say it once. Can you guys stop talking? It's really ruining yeah. my concentration. Interesting. Interesting. Four, three. You don't like being on this side of it, huh? Three, <laughs> two, and one. Pens down, please. Clark Wolf. Luke Besson. That's correct. That's correct. Mark Ellis. Luke Besson. There you go. Ah, Tie game. French accent. Tie no game. extra points for the French accent, Mark. Right, here we Who go. Is Luca Besson. Oscar movies for your second category here. What 2002 movie garnered Oscar nominations for writer Charlie Kaufman and his fictional brother Donald? Mm. Good old Donald. I never had a brother named Donald here. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. I have, well, a, I have a cousin named. Nope, don't even have one of those. You have somebody you know. You've been to a wedding with somebody named Donald. Yeah. Five. Got a buddy from home. Four. Three. Two, one, pens down, Mark Ellis. Uh, American Splendor? It's incorrect. Ooh. Clark. Don't forget that voiceover narration is cheating. It's adaptation. That oh. is correct. Ah. I like it. Whoa. Whoa. Mark Wolf, get another point there. All right, now we get she into two two. I was two. Writing too long. question Classy. number three. Question number three here in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who played the mild-mannered, bumbling bureaucrat Wickes Van Demur in District 9? <laughs> District 9. Ooh. You ever see that one? I did. Big fan. I did? I, I did. Yeah, I did. I was a big fan of the prawns. No, yeah. The, the yeah, prawns yeah, yeah, there yeah, in the yeah. District 9. Five. <laughs> the prawns. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Clark Wolf. Charlotte Copley? That's correct. Well Mark Ellis. Charlotte Copley. Oh, correct. Wow. There you go. Ooh. Here we go. Three, two. Nice. Three, two. I, I interviewed you. him one time. All right, here we go. Next two question. Two pound for pound fighters fighting it out. Uh, next category of new releases. Name one. Of the three veteran actors that starred in the Zach Braff directed heist movie Going in Style. Oh dear Lord. Weirdly Lord. weird known fact I was a subscribing patron of In Style magazine back in two thousand three. Are they still a thing? Yeah, I think so. Three. Yeah, my bad on that one. Two. One pens down and Mark Ellis. I'm writing smaller than I want. Michael Caine. That's correct. Wow. Clark Wolf. Kevin Klein. Klein. That's incorrect. That's another movie that was close to it, but that's, uh, it was either Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, or Alan Arkin. Ooh. All right, so it is a tie game now after that, Miss. Uh, next one here, comedies. What film had Daryl Hannah's character wooed by a big-nosed fire chef chief? Almost a mm. chef. Fire chef? Almost had a fire yeah, chef. Yeah, it's uh... look, look, it happens. You know how many matches I've done? <laughs> Uh, listen, I'm not going to make funny here, but uh, chef and chief are two very different <laughs> words. Totally. <laughs> and so is that monastery. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Marcus Ellis. <clears throat> That's, That's what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst song in the <laughs> history of songs. So I assume Clark Wolf. Horrific. Clark, you were close enough, Clark. We'll give it to Clark, you. Clark, you had it also. Clark had it also. Yes, okay. there you Clark go. Had she had Splash. <laughs> All right, so it is How four, dare you, sir? Tom four, Finks' four. nose nope, is perfect. Four, four, <laughs> four, 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 four. All right, four, next bad, question in the category of family films. What lead actor made his feature film debut as Stanley in the film Poles? Someone just had gas in the crowd. Poles. Yeah. yeah. Sounds yeah. like some people out there put some holes in their pants. Yeah. Five. Well, four. 
three, two, one, and Clark Wolf. Shia LaBeouf. That's correct. Ooh. Mark Ellis. We miss in Transformers, kid. Shia LaBeouf. Hey, no. the LaBeouf. Said, said no one. All right, here's the, uh, here's the next category. Category of rom-coms. My favorite. Who plays Lars, who falls in love with the doll he orders online in Lars and the Real Girl? The story of Ken Knapsack. Yeah, that's true. It, uh, Ken is not here to defend himself, sir. Yeah, I, I, Ken is not here, but I will second what Mark just said. <laughs> and I will second. third it, but okay. he's still not here. Three, two, one, Marcus Ellis. Mr. Cutie Pants himself, Ryan Gosling. Ooh. Clark Wolf. Ryan Gosling. Uh, there you go. Oh, she said oh, with swoon. such yes. Swoon. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Right. Yes, queen. Right. Right. Last, last one here in the category of horror thriller. I bet horror he smells good. thriller. Yeah. Liam Neeson plays a Dr. David Marrow who intends to study the psychological response to fear in what 90s supernatural horror film? Woo, boy. Yeah. Clark is a big fan Can you fan repeat of the question? Whoa. Uh, that's number one. I'm using it. Liam Neeson plays Dr. David Marrow who intends to study the psychological response to fear in what 90s supernatural horror film? Proud of you. You got through all of that without stumbling on a word. It was tough. It was a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of big, a lot of syllables Pretty in tough. that question. Five, four, three, two, one. Clark Wolf. I don't think this is right. I said Dark Man. That's oh. incorrect. Mark. Give me my elephant. The Haunting. That's wow. correct. Oh. Mark oh. Baby carrots. Over. It was that and, ha and House on Haunted Hill now, came out at the same time. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to hit skills. round number two, and it's going to work like this. The competitors will spin the wheel. If it lands on a category they don't like, they can spin again, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. But they can spin one more time. They have to, they have to take what they land on the second time. There will be four questions, two points apiece. If you go to multiple choice, one point. You can steal 15 seconds to answer the question. Mark Ellis, you have a one-point lead here. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I think I'm going to be classy and defer. I will kick wow. off. Oh. Oh. Mark Wolf, oh. we'll let the lady go you first. You may have the first spin. Wow. Right. Mark, here Ellis, she goes. Mark Wolf, Clark, please give it a good spin. Put a little Atlanta backbone in that and give that wheel a spin. <laughs> and there it is. There you go. You got the Southern people representing uh, today. It's a debutante of a spin there. She's a Bobby great Cox golfer. Would be proud. Really nice. Oh. Mixed bag. Mixed, mixed bag. bag. I'll tell you what, Christian. <laughs> mixed bag. You never know. Seems, it's a crowd, not a crowd pleaser. No, you hate it. I'm you not a fan. So, not a fan. So I think, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna spin again. Yeah. <laughs> good call, Clark. Good call. Even uh, if you nice. land on opponents. Wait. <laughs> there you go. There's another nice spin. The lady oh, from Atlanta, oh, Georgia. God. Yep. She, the round of do not. I love you, uh, Wheel. Oh, mixed bag uh -oh, is getting uh -oh, sniffy uh -oh. again. Action adventure. Action adventure. Uh -oh. This is also she not good. Not All right. To, to like this. And what? All right, here we go. Round number two. Okay. All right, Clark Wolf. <laughs> what is the name of Gal Gadot's character in the Fast and the Furious franchise? Multiple choice. Multiple <laughs> choice. A. Is it Elena? B. Riley. C. Giselle. D. Mila. Giselle. Correct, for one, one point. point. Well right. done, well done. Your second question in Action Adventure, Clark Wolf, the classy one, who co-starred opposite Gina Davis in 1995's Cutthroat Island? Okay, so it was her husband, but, oh, F. Multiple choice. Multiple choice again. Is it A, Michael Douglas, B, Matthew Modine, C, Clinton Spillsbury, or D, Jeff Bridges. And I knew it was Matthew Modine, and it's still Matthew Modine. <laughs> it sure is. There Another single point there for Who the Who the hell one. is Clinton Spillsbury? <laughs> uh, not, real person? I Mark. think that's Gina Davis's current husband. <laughs> How dare you talk about Clinton Spillsbury? He's a hell of a guy. That sounds like a swashbuckler. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's get the next two The local senator in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Question three for Clark Wolf. What is the first name of computer expert and best friend to Benjamin Gates in National Treasure. Multiple choice. Uh, we're gonna go with A, Mark, B, Ken, C, Cody, D, Riley. That was... Yeah. Very clever, Skaliski. very clever. Well, uh, I, I'm gonna go... Who's she gonna go with? Uh, I, I'll, go, I'll go Riley. That is correct! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give her the point! Give her the point! Was... Give her the point! That's good. <laughs> Last question in Action Adventure. 1984 saw the release of Romancing the Stone. What is the name of the sequel to Romancing the Stone? So I think I know it, but uh, multiple choice. Is it A, Thief of Baghdad, B, Pearl of Death, 
C, Jewel of the Nile. D, Dark Crystal. It was J Jewel of the Nile. That is correct. <laughs> right, Although so Dark Clark Crystal would have been <laughs> awesome. So Clark Wolf played small ball there. She's small ball. And she four did four, though. Four for four. She gets four points there. She just got to hope that Ellis doesn't hit all of the twos, but we're going to see what he You does. know who is great in Jewel of the Nile? Clinton Spillsbury. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it out. All right, so now Mark Ellis is up. Now, Mark, ahead, hold on. Before yeah. you spin, Mark, uh, I don't know. We can go for the audience here. With your sleeveless shirt, that adds a lot to the spin. So be careful how hard you spin it, because you are unencumbered by sleeps. I will what? make sure I'm aware of that, and the pants I'm wearing that are yours are a little tight in the crotch here. Yes. <laughs> Yikes. That was a burn against the size of my manhood, <laughs> and, uh, you know. 90s. Ooh. 90s. Ah, oh, man. I'm so terrified of a number of these other categories that I think I'll uh, take what I have and oh, I will go 90s. Oh, wow. He stays with 90s. I wow. think I'll stick with 90s. So stick with if the 90s. If it can't be Adam Sandler Netflix movies, let's do 90s. Okay. All right. Mark Ellis in the category of 90s movies. In the 1993 movie Gettysburg, who portrayed General Robert E. Lee? Five, four, three. Multiple choice. Ooh, multiple choice. Is it A, Tom Berenger, B, Gene Hackman, C, Martin Sheen, D, Sam Elliott? Five. Wow. Four, three, uh, two. Sam Elliott. That is incorrect. <laughs> Clark, would you like to steal? Uh, may I hear the answers again? Sure. Is it A, Tom Berenger, B, Gene Hackman, C, Martin Sheen, D, Sam Elliott? Five. Martin Sheen. That's correct wow. for a point. Yeah. Wow, steal nice steal. A nice steal. steal. That's Clark big. There. Yeah. That is big. I'm okay. Spillsbury, but he's not in it. <laughs> not in it. The he second, passed. The second question here for Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Who played Billy Crystal's son in City Slickers? Uh, I know them. Uh. <laughs> Clark Wolf knows the answer. Five. Multiple choice. Okay, here comes a multiple choice. Is it A, Jake Gyllenhaal, B, Ryan Gosling, C, Jason, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, D, Macaulay Culkin? I think <laughs> he didn't leave him at home. I think it's uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. It is It is Jake correct. Gyllenhaal. That there is correct go. for a point. Eight. There All right. we go. All Man, right. this is, this is some old school tough yep. questions. Yep. Here we go. Your third question. In The Rocketeer, what does Cliff disguise himself as at the South Seas Club in order to get to Jenny? Man, 90s not working out for Ellis the way he hoped it would. Um, Five, four. All right, you got to go multiple choice. He goes multiple choice again. Heavyweight battle here. In, in the Rocketeer, your choices are A, a chef, B, a cop, C, a valet, D, a waiter. Probably one of the later two. Five. Say a waiter. Correct for Good a point. Wow. Correct. All right, so last, point. last I was going to go with the valet, but they didn't have a lot of cars back then. So <laughs> interesting scenario here. Mark Ellis, either two to tie it up, or if he goes to multiple choice, at least he can get within one of Clark Wolf. True, true, true. Last question. Okay, last question here. Last singles. Round yeah. two. Who directed the Daniel Day-Lewis masterpiece, The Last of the Mohicans? <laughs> Michael Mann. That Ties is it correct. Up. That is correct. Wow. All right. All <laughs> tied up. So what's Mark after the Ellis. first uh. after the first two rounds? It is a tie game. No one. Listen. These are the two top competitors in the league. And Some tough questions. Game. Tough Ooh, questions boy. there. And now we get to round number three, and it works like this: the competitors are going to get three numbers from one to twenty. First one worth two. Second one worth three. Last one worth five points. Clark Wolf, you are the higher ranked competitor in a tie game here. Please pick three numbers from one to twenty. I'm going to go four, twelve, and nineteen. All right, Mark Ellis, pick your numbers, please. One, two, and three. One. Woo! Wow. Two. Just as high three. as I can count. All right, so we're going to start with Mark Ellis with a category of one. One. Category one, Mark, is war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Ugh, war. Say it again. God, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Who played Bradley Cooper's wife in American Sniper? Ooh. Um, Sienna Miller. That is correct two for two points. points. Right. Give it to him. We bounce to Clark Wolf Clark here with category four. four. He had a fake baby. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't real at all. Not even close. Not even close. Yikes, fake that, arm. That was embarrassing for filmmakers everywhere. <laughs> category four is comedy, Clark Wolf. 
for two points. Who played Principal Roz Mullins in 2003's School of Rock? Joan Cusack. That is correct. Two Give her two. Wow. Back this is and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. All right. Here we go. So now we get to Mark Ellis, who had category two. Category two. Uh, Mark's favorite category thus far, 90s movies. Ooh. For right. three points, Mark, who directed the 1998 family film, Babe, Pig in the City? Babe, Pig in the City? Yes. Jesus Christ. I know uh, it. It sounds like the first movie of somebody that went on to do other things that were not Five, talking pig sequels. Four, three. Brad Bird. Ooh. Incorrect. Miller. That is correct, Mark Wolf. Thank that you, Miller, Miller. Son of a bitch. for doing right. my job. I appreciate that. Right, so now and the Witches of Eastwick. Well, now we bounce back me, to George. Clark Wolf here. Clark Wolf is now going to get her three pointer, which is category mm, I, number 12. Ooh, category number 12 here for Clark Wolf comes in the category of crime. Uh oh. Crime for three points. You'll find Robert De Niro playing the character of Johnny Boy in this 1970s crime drama. Mean Streets. That is correct wow. for three Clark points. Clark Wolf going up. Give so, it to Clark. Comes so Clark up three. Wolf, that, with that, with getting that right, Clark Wolf has given herself two chances to win. Mark Ellis will get a five-pointer. If he misses it, Clark Wolf wins the game. If he hits it, it will bounce back to Clark Wolf for her to try to win. So here we go, Mark Ellis. You chose category number three, which is your five-pointer, and the category is? The category is dramas. Dramas. Ooh. Five-pointer. Okay. <sighs> for five points, Mark. What name did the operating system voiced by Scarlett Johansson give herself in her? Five, four, three. Can you repeat the question? That I can. He invokes the JTE rule. The drama <laughs> is palpable. You can hear oohs and ahs in the crowd. What name? Did the operating system, voiced by Scarlett Johansson, give herself in her? Five, four, three, two. Mia? And your winner! Ladies and gentlemen, Classy! Clark! Wow. Wow. Samantha. The answer name. was Samantha. Samantha was Samantha. Mark Wolf pulling up an upset here. You know, she's a higher rank competitor beating Mark Ellis. Was it was Samantha. Samantha. We were looking for Samantha. 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 The answer. Wow. Samantha. So Clark Wolf pulls up one of the biggest wins in her career so far, beating Mark Ellis. My goodness, that's going to give her a very high rank here in yep. the Ultimate Showdown. She is now five and three, as is Mark Ellis. They both have similar records, and that is that was a big win for Clark Wolf, and some really tough questions all the way around for both competitors. I will say this: Clark Wolf, before a lot of these matches, really gets down on herself oh, a lot. Time. She she's like, oh, this match will be short. This match will be short." Do not count out Clark Wolf. Ever. 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 Bottom Rookie of the, the ninth, put the bat in her hand, she hits the home run. Clark Wolf came in hot today and really owned it. She absolutely did. And Emma Fife is talking to both Clark Wolf and Mark Ellis right now. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with I Am Very Glad to Say, today's winner, Miss Classy Clark ah. Wolf. Congratulations on your well-deserved win. Thank you, darling. And before we go any further, I have a correction to make because in our match, I said that Gina Davis was married to Matthew Modine uh. during Cutthroat Island. She wasn't. She was married to Rennie Harlan, the director. And that's why I couldn't pull the name Matthew out Modine. because my trivia was wrong. But I guess I got the right question. The question that mattered right that's so true that's... you did you did i mean it yeah. was a it was a tough match all around you guys both kind of were just hanging in there uh, in round two a good st strategy with the multiple choice yeah i mean you know again i i feel like i i played the uh round two safe um because jewel of the nile and matthew modine were in there but i I just didn't want to risk getting it wrong. Uh, and so um you know playing it safe with the multiple choice on those two i probably could have taken the risk, but I'm just not just not a risk taker, Emma. It's okay, just Clark. Like it's, to play it a little safe. You know what? Playing it safe, you still you still came out on top. Yeah, and Mark Ellis is. Um, I, you know, I I said it, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When I called his match against Dan Merle, I, that was when I realized, holy crap, 
this guy is really good. I know. Like really, really, really good. And um, that was a that was a really close one. Yeah. Sometimes he parades around in a carrot costume, but it turns out Mark Ellis actually does know a thing or two about movie trivia. Now, Clark, going into the match today. Sorry to interrupt. Oh. oh my god, looking good, partner. Hello, partner. <laughs> Look at that belt. Uh, well, thank you, thank you. That was a hell of a match. You looked awesome. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, there it is. I, I, I appreciate it coming from you. The champ uh, it means a lot. Well, you know, uh, yes, thank you. But uh, I better watch out because you, if uh, it, it, that that was such a good showing, I better watch out for this. But I'd be happy to give it up to you with that trivia. You're too good. Skills. Before Clark Wolf could potentially try to take the belt from you, though, you've got a big match coming up next week. I do. Uh, pro- probably the biggest match I've ever played uh, going up against Dan Merle. And John Roca, two of the best competitors in this league. Uh, but I'm feeling good. So, but it's not about me. It's about her. Thanks, buddy. Clark, how are you feeling about your tag team partner's chances at keeping the belt here in this upcoming match? Great. As as we learned in this in this match, you always bet on Riley. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like it when justice reigns victorious. <laughs> me too. Now, Clark, going into the match today, you were a little. It tentative. It seemed like you thought things were not going to go in your favor. Yes, that is correct. That is what I thought. <laughs> I, I, okay, I'm, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. <laughs> yes, I, look, uh, I get nervous before I play, but I'm telling you, Ellis is one of my dear, dear buddies, and but he is so good, and I just sort of knew I just wasn't feeling very hopeful. I, I felt like he was going to beat me, and, um, and so... I went into the match, I think, nervous for sure, but also just like, look, what's going to happen is going to happen. And, yeah. um, you know, and so, but yeah, I was nervous for sure. Well, your victory today and your many victories in the past, I have to say, Clark, look at all the women that are competing in the Schmodown today. Rachel Cushing, I've competed. Erica Ishii, Perry Nemiroff, Brianne Chandler, Stacey Howard. Yeah. We've got a really great showing, and you paved the way for that. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, I love that more people are starting to play the game because the game is super fun. And uh, and look, everybody, if you're a nerd and you love movie trivia, it doesn't matter what you look like, where you come from, you're a nerd and you love movie trivia. And so to me, that's the most important thing. And, uh, and those ladies are kicking ass, and we're getting some other people just in general role in the game, which I love. We're getting the fans in the game, which is super awesome. So the more the merrier. I just think it's really exciting. Clark Wolf keeping it classy as always Mm -hmm. and being an inspiration to us all. Well, congratulations again, Clark, on your win today. And we will be right back with Mr. Baby Carrots Ellis. And we are back with Mark Baby Carrots Ellis, who just couldn't couldn't quite pull it off today. Couldn't quite spills the berries, if you know what I mean. Just I I, I got a Clinton. Clinton. Ugh. Do you know? I looked up who Clinton Spilsbury Never heard was. Of him, yeah, he has one credit to his name. It's like the. Rise of the Lone Ranger or something, 1981. Definitely never heard of him. Uh, so, you know. He's probably a friend of Makuga's dad. Sure, but sure. Either way, it was a fair question. It was. It was a fair question, not uh, directed at you. But, uh, you know, you hung in there, Mark Ellis. Hey, you know, that's what Clark and I do. Regardless of who we're playing against, we're going to be in there until the end. And, unfortunately, I just uh, couldn't quite come up with the name Samantha there at the end. I think Clark probably would have hit the five-pointer if it bounced back to her. So, she, uh, she played a really great match, and she earned the victory here today she definitely definitely did in those 90s questions you had man they were uh they were they were some deep cuts they, the toughest part about this match was the actual wheel categories themselves there was a lot of pitfalls for me on there so when i got 90s i didn't love it but i was like okay i think this is a safer choice did not want to spend tarantino or dramas or something like that so i got the 90s and you know like clark did too she kind of pinch hit her way around the course and that's yeah. what i had to do as well and it came down to round three and yeah. she just had the goods i totally understand that strategy now speaking of clark wolf she's really become quite the competitor here in this league wouldn't you say she's ranked four i'm ranked five and as we were talking backstage it's like look this is not gonna be a nail in the coffin for either person if they lose this is me getting back in the ring after a long time off and i'm not gonna go lie on a beach for another six months i think i'm back i think i'm ready to compete in the ultimate showdown because i think i'm my best when the lights are the brightest and yeah. the playoff format just it speaks to me as a human being and i mean you've won the ultimate showdown two belt. years in a row yeah. so both in 
singles and in teams. So that's something you've still got your sights on moving forward? Yeah, I, I definitely think that I have as good a shot as anybody to win the ultimate Schmodown again and challenge whoever is going to be holding the belt at that particular juncture. And look, maybe I see Clark again, and I would be looking forward to that matchup. A little bit of Jaws for the revenge. Absolutely. I mean, it was a, it was a fun match all around. Great fight by both competitors. And uh, yeah, I, I'd say... You keep doing you, Mark Ellis. I believe in you. Well, thank you, Em. I'm going to go fly to Houston and get drunk tonight. <laughs> now, we've got a big match coming up here, one on July 4th yeah. and on July 7th. We've got Patriots versus Top 10. How are we? How are you feeling about that? As a co-creator of this league, I need to know. You, you got to root against the Patriots, but I seriously think they have the goods. I mean, Roca knows know their stuff, but I think the Patriots are going to eke it out. It's just too much symbolism <sighs> on July 4th. I think they get the W. And then you got the collision three days later on my birthday. No gifts necessary. Yeah. How are you feeling about uh, the commissioner going up against the insider? I think Harloff's going to get Team Schmoes back on the right side. I mean, look, Harloff's been on a little bit of a tear here, and Snyder is really tough. He's a KG veteran. He is cool under the lights, but Harloff is on such a hot streak right now. I think the hot hand continues. And what about the big three-way match for the belt? Uh, that, that could be anybody's game. I think that's all going to come down to the wheel round because somebody's going to spend it's something true. they really love and it's going to take away points from the other two competitors. I love the three-way format. Yeah. Uh, I think that this is going to come down to the wire and I don't like Roca. Okay. I think it's either Merle or Riley. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I like Roke as a person. Sure, but, um, sure, but he he makes a lot of noise in this league. Oh, he's a snowball in hell. Yeah, I I can uh, I can get behind that. Well, again, thank you, Mark Ellis, for your time. Can I go get drunk in Houston? Now? Absolutely, go for it. Back to you, Christian and Josh. All right, so look at that. You 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 know you, you have in the back there. You have uh, Clark Wolf, who is talking, and, and the the champion actually came in to to congratulate her in the middle of the interview. And we had uh, Clark Wolf talking about she didn't she was she was being humble as Clark Wolf is, but talking about having that higher position there in the Ultimate Schmodown going into it. Now she's just going to sit back and see now who does she play. She's up top there, really. I mean, she's going to find out who she's playing. The, the Collider Collision is right around the corner. I mean, I could be playing against Dan Merle. Jeff Snyder could be playing against Dan Merle. There's so much happening. And then Mark Ellis says, you know, tough loss. But he's he's not going anywhere. He looks, he's back. He says he's back for good and he wants to play in the Ultimate Schmodown. And don't again. forget, both of these competitors have competed for belts. Clark Wolf fought Mark's Dan been Merle. The, Mark's, Mark's Mark, been team champ. Correct. Mark's been team champion, but also for single spells, both of these competitors have. They are both to be feared in this league. Oh, absolutely. And I think, and look, these two could match up again in the Ultimate Showdown, which would be I amazing know. to see. Um, Clark Wolf has proven once again why she is one of the elite players in this league. And 100%. like you said, she always beats herself up beforehand. She does. But she, also, she always shows why she has the spots that she has. All right, guys. So how about you? What do you think of the match? Who do you want to see Mark Ellis play next? Who do you want to see? Clark Wolf play next. Go ahead and comment. Comment here. Comment like. Try to. We're trying to break the record here. We want to get 13,000 likes. We want to get 3,000 comments. Go ahead and you guys be the ones to do that. Check out right around the corner here. We've got July 4th. The Patriots defending the titles against top 10. July 7th, a collider collision. Four big matches. The Inner Geekdom Championship. Number one team contenders. Number one singles contenders and the triple threat match. Dan Merle going for the belt, John Roca going for the belt, and Mark Riley, the champion, trying to keep it. It all goes down on July 7th here on Collider Video. A couple other things to check out, the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page, the Schmodown Rundown, Inside Schmodown with Ken Knapsack every Thursday on the Facebook page on Collider, and then you're going to leave the desk here and go run on over to the other side because it's fantasy update time with that character. Go on over there and that little skunk rat Cody. What's up, Movie Trivia Showdown fans? Josh yeah. McCougar here with my boy, Cody Hall. What's Cody, up? your impression of Baby Carrots. I'm a baby carrot. That was his carrot. Do your impression of a wolf. Uh, oh, it's like a wolf. Get, get the get, hell I, I, out of I'm here. Not, I'm not proud of myself today. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, that was terrible. I apologize to all you fantasy people out there. Cody, stay where you are and do not come back into frame until I tell you. Here's your fantasy update. Clark Wolf is a champion. She is classy. She has fought for the belt once before in the singles. She will fight for it again. Mark my words. Hold on to her. You know what you could do? You, If you're looking for a trade, she's at least a two-person trade. Maybe throw up 
a William Biviani mixed with a Matt Nost. Maybe throw up two players for a Clark Wolf because she is worth your time. She's always in the league, she's always fighting, she's always looking classy, and she's always getting those answers that you just don't think anybody else should know, but she does. Even if she thought Gia Davis was married to Matthew Modine when she wasn't, because Matthew Modine is married to wrestling in the movie Vision Quest, Shoop, I'm coming for you. On the other hand, Mark Ellis, she split his points in half. It wasn't a great showing for him. He's my friend, he's my buddy, and he always bets against me. That doesn't mean that I don't like him in fantasy. I actually really like him in fantasy because he always fights and he usually wins. Today was the exception. If you don't have baby carrots, don't face him. Don't fight him. Again, look for a possible trade. Baby carrots is worth an upper tier team. He's also worth an upper tier individual. Somewhere in the middle. He's a two person trade. You might have to sacrifice a lot. Look for some new people competing. Look for some old people who have competed. They haven't competed in a while. Baby Carrots is worth your time. This was a great fantasy matchup. Another matchup we may see in the Ultimate Schmodown. If you have either one of these competitors, you are doing okay. Clark with the blood heels. Baby Carrots with the orange suit. That was a match. I'm Josh McCougar. Cody, come back in here, right? All right, I'm back in here. There he is. All right, Do yeah. another Baby Carrots. I, I'm, I'm definitely a Baby Carrot. It was it's, a little bit better baby. than the first it's, time. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time right here on the Schmodown. What did I say? Just trust me. This is gonna blow these people's minds. It's gonna be the biggest thing that ever happened on this stupid, stupid show. No, I'm telling you, just a little bit longer. These morons have no idea what's about to hit them. Remember, trust me. <laughs> no, 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 not, wait. You gonna come out? No? Too bad, bye. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.